Elixir is the mystery of life. It's the tonic of life. I feel like soups are true elixirs. When you put a soup together with a tremendous amount of intention, that intention puts love into the soup and that that has a quality that can heal. The soap at Digestino, it's a soup of love. It's a soup that I learned to make with my son. I prepare my mirepoix, celery, carrots, onions, garlic, slow saute them, and then I shear the corn. And after my mirepoix has started to caramelize, now I add what I call my aceite de serrano, which is a wonderful chili oil, and it's the finishing touch to the saute. I take Roma tomatoes and I roast them and I put those in. I take coarsely chopped cilantro and I cover it with the broth and I let it cook and develop flavor. I bake my chickens with lemon and curry and garlic and rosemary and I shred it with my fingers and I layer it in. I love it with avocado and jack cheese. At the very end, I top it off with that many times, so you're almost enjoying a stew-like quality. When I begin the Tuscan tomato soup, I always allow enough time for the carrots and the shallots to saute very slowly and get a golden flavor, a few pinches of crushed red chili flakes. The next step is adding San Marzano tomatoes. I love the rich, robust color at that stage. It's very bright. Some basil. I really love to put a splash of cream because it makes it softer. Topping off that soup with fresh made pesto is the perfect thing. The cauliflower curry bisque is another lovely vegetable soup. In a touch of olive oil, use my herb butter compound. I start by sauteing the carrots and the leeks. At that point, I think it's really nice to roast in the curry and a little bit of turmeric. It's medicinal, it's very good for you, but it gives also a beautiful color and a wonderful flavor as well. Now I add my chicken or vegetable stock, add my cauliflower to that mixture, and I just let it cook when I take the lid off. And as a finishing touch, I take sharp white cheddar cheese. It creates a velvety texture that is so decadent. To me, a soup must be something that can cure you and inspire you at the same time. And it's something that really makes you feel the spirit of life.